Hey, everybody. How you doing, everybody? <laughs> uh, I'm going to do a couple of these uh, year-end 2016 videos, my YouTube reviews. Um, so thank you all for your comments. Uh, some of the people are getting it. They're, they're realizing what I'm doing is I'm a reviewer, and I'm telling you stuff that I think is really cool and hoping you will take some time to watch it. So, uh Hey, whatever. So I'm presenting Dave's top YouTube vids for 2016, okay? It's, it's not just individual videos, it's video arcs. So if you did a, a thematic set of videos, I'm also including those, okay? So it can be a lot of things, but these are things that I really felt really cool this year. They stood out, and so... Um, so, dear, what the heck? I'm not putting them in any particular order except for the first one. Okay, the first one I do think is easily the best thing I saw on YouTube this year, okay? So let's start with that, shall we? Uh, I hope this works. I don't know. Ben Brown, Arctic Voyage. Back in uh, August, September, Ben Brown, British dude. I like him. I like his channel, although it's been very up and down this year. You know, the channel, I think a lot of his videos, oh, I like this pen, have been kind of disappointing. Is this video, oh, we're on, okay. <laughs> a lot of his videos have been disappointing. I don't know, he kind of retreads things. He goes from his place in Cape Town and goes back to his family in London. He does some sponsored videos and some of the stuff is kind of tacky and pompous, but he really did. Uh, 20-ish videos, a little more than, you know, it's, I don't know, something like, you know, 19 or 20 videos of an Arctic voyage, okay? And it is brilliant. It is absolutely brilliant. There's an astronaut from Canada on it. Um, there's some other YouTubers. The photography is brilliant. It is just absolutely magnificent. Uh, watch them all in order, and you start it at, look for Welcome to the Ship, Ben Brown, Welcome to the Ship, Arctic Day 1, and go from there. I really like that, and I think that was easily my most favorite arc of anything I've seen on YouTube this year in 2016. Even though, you know, Ben's done some good videos this year, I, I do admit, but generally, especially that whole trip he did down to, um, the Olympics, that was disappointing. Been a lot of disappointments, a very uneven year for Ben. But uh, that Arctic voyage really stood out. It's, it'll send chills down your spine with the knowledge that is bequeathed from that. So very good. Top, definitely the best thing on YouTube in 2016. In my humble opinion, Ben Brown's Arctic voyage. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. The also other thing I really liked is Adam the Woo is, is of course his daily Woo channel. His trip after he sells or gets rid of his uh, rental there in Anaheim, and he travels across the country, eastbound, goes all through Vegas and uh, the old I-66 ruins, and through his old home in Oklahoma, and then back to Anna, goes to visit his sister in Indianapolis, and then eventually heads down to Cincinnati and some really cool videos in West Virginia and Virginia, and then down to Dollywood and Tennessee, and then down to Atlanta. Um, this is kind of you know, mid midish, kind of fallish, late summer fallish there. Um, but I really like that. It's a wonderful, wonderful. I don't know how many videos it is. It's quite a lot of videos, but they're all brilliant. These are the ones, the highlights. Uh, 1481, the James Dean grave there in Fairmount, in Indiana. Uh, 1472, they tried shooting through the window. 1467, playing at Mickey Mantle's house there. Uh, let's get personal. Really good stuff. Um, yeah, he, he kind of goes, you, it's like you can't go home again. Just him checking out old towns where he used to live, some little town there in Oklahoma. It's just magnificent videos. I recommend the whole thing. You, you, will, not, you will not be bored with any of it. It's all wonderful. It's a lot of videos. He does them every day, obviously, but I really like that. Really good there. Um, something else that really touched my heart was a channel I don't subscribe to, but but it was really cool. Cheap RV living, Kathleen living in her car. It's a woman in the Seattle area who just lives in her tiny little car. And I just, I felt really touched watching that. This woman, I mean, she's, she's, the thing that gets you about this video is how positive she is. You think this woman, she's kind of middle to older age, living in a car, you'd think she'd be depressed and e-begging. Not, no, she's positive. She's 
hopeful, and it's just an amazingly stunning video, and uh, really highly recommend it. Uh, Syntax77 is one of my favorite hikers, although lately, the last couple of years, last year or two, he hasn't done too much. If you go back to 2014 and stuff, there's some really good stuff. But he does a really killer little arc here, Maroon Bell's Trip and Hike. Um, I don't know, it was done back in, I don't know, late summer, early fall. He and his friend, uh, the trail killer, get in their car, get in their van or whatever from uh, Delaware and drive all the way out to Colorado and then hike. And it's a couple of videos and it's brilliant. And it kind of reminds me of the old Syntax 77. It's just absolutely brilliant. It's a wonderful, the road journey especially. You, you, I watch Syntax 77 mainly for the hiking, but this road journey was brilliant, uh, uh, really cool. So check that one out. Casey Neistat, who I'm voting for president. Oh, what can I say about Casey? Um, more brilliant videos this year. He had to, he's calling it quits at least with the daily vlogging. But this was a, just from the heart. You know, whether you liked Hillary or you liked Donald, I'm not going to get into that. But it was just a really touching from the heart video of somebody who really cares about this country. I think Casey really does. Who you know, and uh, I, 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 just, I thought it was a touching video. Um, the other thing I really liked, again, whether you, I'm not going to get into politics, but the Late Late Show with James Corden, is that his, I, I spell his name right, I may be an E, but he does that carpool karaoke, a lot of those episodes are great, the one with Coldplay there before the Super Bowl, that was wonderful, but I really liked the one with Michelle Obama, I don't know, it just, it was so funky to see him driving around in a van with the First Lady and they're singing, and I really liked that, and I really like this carpool karaoke. You know, look, some people can't stand him, and he's an acquired taste. But hey, I like that one. Okay, that moved me. <laughs> Into the mystery thirteen. My favorite uh, RV, or not RV. Or I always say that my favorite Vanner. His stuff is really profound when he gets into what's going on in his head. He's an old soul. He's, a, he's I don't know what he's in his 20s, but he's really got an old soul, and he's really smart. And this thing about how the haters and trolls actually help you, I don't know. This was another one kind of from the fall. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I really like that one. If you're a YouTuber, it's a brilliant video. Joe Robinet Bushcraft, he's our one of my favorite hiker dudes, uh, camper dudes from uh, Windsor, Ontario, up near Detroit. And he does this, uh, did a couple episodes of him hiking, hiking alone in the Algonquian, which is a park up there in Ontario. Brilliant video, brilliant video. Uh, hiking along, yeah, it's supposed to be hiking alone. Eh, I knew I'd do that. Hiking alone, but yeah, what a brilliant video of him all alone and what goes through his head. And I think he's got some health problems with he's getting bugs bit, biting his legs. And But it's it's a brilliant video. I highly recommend series of videos. Check that out. Joe Bobinet Bushcraft. Dan Bell's always great, but I really loved his Baltimore com, uh, Catacombs <laughs> Fort Armistad, which is a little fort south of Baltimore there. And his cutting room floor episode. He does the regular episode. Watch them both. But the cutting room floor where he's drinking a bit. And it is the funny, one of the funniest things I've seen on YouTube all year. Dan Bell of the Baltimore Catacombs cutting room floor. So that was, that was highly recommended. What else did I like? Oh, let's not go down too far because I don't, I want to, yeah. Adrian Bliss is a British guy <laughs> and his friend that doesn't talk. They did a cross-country tour. They landed in New York and they drove, they rented an RV and they went all the way out to California, middle of the summer. Brilliant videos. It's, it's just funny. It was kind of staged, some of it, but... It, it just, it just, you know, I don't know how if that was 29, 20 episodes or something. It was wild and wonderful. And, uh, yeah, highly recommend that. Uh, Dan Bell, another great video, Mothman. Check out his, did a couple of videos at the Mothman Point Pleasant, West Virginia thing. Did like that a lot. And then, is it it? That's it. Okay, my, my finale. <laughs> Adam the Woo, the Daily Woo 1521, called Craziest Treehouse Ever. It's done at the end of August. Watch it. The Gene Wilder tribute at the end. He doesn't mention that it's a Gene Wilder tribute. He's sitting in his van. The sun is setting, and he just does the soliloquy. And he looks, in, you know, and it looks like he's going to tear up. And you're like going, what the F? This guy's just flipping out. And then you suddenly realize, you know, Gene Wilder, you know, Young Frankenstein and all those great movies passed away. And that's his tribute. He's reading the, uh, what Gene Wilder said is in the young, tell the young Frankenstein. 
a movie, you know, to Frank Sang character, blah, 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 Peter Boyle, whatever. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. The last few minutes of this video will just knock your friggin' socks off. Okay, so those are my YouTube highlights from my personal viewing for 2016. I didn't include any of my videos in there, although I should have. Um, and I'm going to come out with a revised list of my favorite YouTubers probably next week towards the end of the year, closer to the end of the year. Who will be number one? <laughs> Where will Nomadic Fanatic be on that list? I don't know. But anyway, uh, you know, all I, so what you want to do is just if you want to freeze the screen in any one of these and then go search for them, they should all be pretty easy to find and check them out. And uh, yeah, just freeze the screen. My top 10 YouTube videos for 2016. Here's hoping 2017 will be even better. Adios, amigos.